Okay, today is Monday, December 12th, 2022. We're at 32490 Sheridan in Beverly Hills. As you can see here, we're at uh, the main clean out. Uh, we do have a backwater valve here. We also have storm and another backwater valve behind me. You can see we have a Y here, uh, ties in a stack. Uh, this is for bathroom. This is at the back of the house. The sewer does go out the back of the house <clears throat> uh, to the city main which is by the fence line. We're going to do a diagnostic televise uh, at this time. We do know the sewer goes from 4 inch cast iron to 4 inch PVC to 6 inch clay pipe. Uh, at the transition from 4 inch PVC to 6 inch clay uh, there's a structural issue in the clay pipe that we're going to be taking a look at. Uh, we're also going to be looking at uh, what ways uh, the sewer can possibly be repaired. And as you can see here, we're turning down uh, in the cast iron. And here you can see, uh, just outside the house here, we hold some water in the cast iron piping. Again, we believe this is an area that has a belly to it. As you can see here, uh, we push through. You can see we do have quite a bit of scale uh, that's built up in the cast iron. This would all have to be cleaned uh, before we could do an installation uh, of a stint. Uh, you can see here we change over to PVC. Uh, you can see we do have a Y here. Uh, we are going to locate this. Uh, we will continue with our televise at this point downstream. Uh, you can see here, uh, you can see just ahead, uh, you can see we have a circumferential crack. Uh, also you see we have uh, a crack at the bottom of the pipe as well. Uh, this is an area that's in question uh, with the sewer at this point. And here this is where you, you see we change from the 4 inch uh, to 6 inch. We are going to put some tape marks uh, on our push rod just to give us uh, an idea of how big of a patch that we might need to install and also what uh, roughly what the push distance is. Okay, we would start our patch right there into the 6 inch uh, and we want to go ahead and take a measure. There you can see the crack. Let's see if we can push past the next joint. continue on out to the city main at this point uh, then we'll pull back and see if we can uh, locate possibly if that Y is a clean out because that is a repair uh, that has been made outside of the house in the backyard. Uh, there is a three seasons room that's been built uh, and it's possible it's been built uh, over the clean out. see we're making a turn and here we are at the city main. Okay we are going to pull back at this time. Uh, we will continue to do our recording. Uh, we will locate as well.
Okay, we're going to pause here to locate. Okay, we have located this Y. Um, this Y is outside under paver uh, area. Uh, we don't see any clean out. Uh, it would be under the pavers, and we're not 100% sure if it's there or not. Uh, right now, we're going to measure our uh, tape marks. Uh, we want to see the distance uh, between. And then we also need to mark uh, where a two foot patch would go. Uh, the overall mark to the next joint uh, where we originally marked is going to be three feet. So we're going to do a, roughly a two foot mark on our push rod. Uh, and show where that would go uh, covering up the area and then we'll also do a measurement uh, at the end but we believe the push is only going to be uh, under 40 feet uh, so again uh, we'll go ahead and push in this is where we would start our stint just inside the six uh, and then a uh, two foot stint would go out to this area basically it would be short of short of the next joint but it would go ahead and cover uh, the area that is in question uh, it has a circumferential crack and also the crack you've seen along the bottom of the sewer uh, we would have to use uh, the cast iron as an access point uh, so the cast iron would have to be descaled uh, the cast iron would have to be flushed and the sewer jetted uh, so we could go ahead and make the installation. Uh, again, this would be the end uh, of the stint here. Uh, you can see this is in an area of good pipe. And we would be basically starting our stint. right here at uh, the start of the six inch. Uh, you can see we have a little bit of six inch here before the joint. Uh, we would be able to start uh, right here at this point. So we'd be able to cover up this joint uh, and the circumferential crack and the crack that's at the bottom of the piping. Uh, we are gonna pull back slowly again through the cast iron and then we will do a measurement outside uh, to how far the push is. As you can see here, this was a PVC repair that was made. Again, unfortunately, we're not sure where the uh, access is uh, for the Y outside. Uh, here you can see this is the transition to the cast iron. Uh, the cast iron does have quite a bit of scale build up to it, uh, so it would need to be descaled. Uh, we're going to put a mark here. Uh, as well so we can get an idea just about how much cast iron we would need to descale. And you'll see as we pull back we do have one area that does hold a slight bit of water. Uh, we would be able uh, we won't be able to change uh, the pitch of the pipe at all but we'll be able to clean it so it would possibly have better flow and also uh, with using our flushing head on the jetter we would be able to blow uh, the water out of that area uh, here you can see this is where uh, the pipe does dip down a little bit uh, we are currently riding the bottom of the pipe. Uh, you see as we went in it does appear that there is pipe uh, at the bottom there that nothing is rotted uh, or, or there's no holes at this time. And you can see this is an area that's right under, we believe it's right under the foundation. 